greet you all in the highly exalted, wonderful, precious name of our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Welcome to the book of Romans. Turning our Bibles to Romans chapter 8 and verse 21. That the creation itself will be liberated from its bondage to decay and brought into the glorious freedom of the children of God. So here he is not only talking about the frustrated world, but he's talking about the frustrated world system and everything around us. There is a fallen order of things. The creator had to have a, a sway over everything, but man was left to his own will and man has violated and, and did something was, that was not healthy for him. And that is the reason why, you know, man has brought, you know, suffering upon himself and uh, suffering upon the whole world system, the ecological balance, the environment around it. Everything has been so brought into decay. And man being made, the authority over everything in this world has shared with his death and with his decay to everything under him. When man sinned, why did animals die? If man sinned, why did trees die? When, if, if man sinned, then why did fishes die? The reason is because in Genesis chapter 1 and verse 28, God blessed man and he gave all of these things and they were subject to man. Man had authority over them. Man had a say over them and man could rule over them, overpower them. And that is the reason why when this man was defeated and he was given into decay and he was given into uh, this death, then this death started sweeping into his kingdom and wherever he ruled, everywhere death began to reign. In the same way, when Christ comes into our hearts and we are subject to him and his authority, the life of Christ will also flow in through us. And then verse 21 says that this creation, because of man's sin that has been brought into bondage to death and decay, what kind of decay? It's decay not only in its, uh, uh, you know, uh, in its uh, structure, it's decay not only in its ontological structure and its uh, 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 and its being, but it, it is a decay in its order. The order of rule of God has been brought to decay. But in our redemption, the Lord is also redeeming the whole world system along with us. He is redeeming everything. The day is going to come, a glorious day is going to come when we, with everything else created, is going to come into that renewed order of, of, of the Lord. We see that the Lord will have sway even over hell. Because Philippians chapter 2 says, even in hell, people will bow down to him and acknowledge that Jesus is Lord. When we are brought into this glorious reality, oh, how beautiful the world will be. The world will be much more beautiful than the Garden of Eden. Than the first created age. Because, you know, in the first created age, it was an age of free will. But now, freely, every accolade is given to Christ. Every honor is ascribed to him. And every good thing is totally, totally owed to the Lord Jesus. And the Lord is glorified, as Habakkuk says. And the glory of the Lord will fill the whole earth as the waters carve the sea. The new order will be a Christ-exalting order. A new order will be a will be will be subject willfully, wishfully, not just out of obligation, but out of free will to the Lord. That glorious day, Christ will be glorified even to ecology and even through, uh, you know, every genetic structure and through the world order also, Christ will be glorified. He will be supremely glorified in heaven, in hell and in every place in all the universe. Our loving, living, gracious Heavenly Father, thank you for the Lord 
you not only redeem us, but along with us, you redeem the whole world structure and order. And the whole universe is going to fall in place because everybody will be glorifying Christ in heaven, in hell, and in every nook and corner of the whole universe. Help us to anticipate for that glorious coming day. Jesus' name we pray. Amen.